Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a call in for a, uh, a truck that's at the top of the mountain. So they're probably North Carolina side of the Smokies, but uh, his truck gave way and he's hauling a trailer. So we're gonna see if we can uh, climb up to the top of this peak and recover this truck and trailer. Um, we do have Nate's towing behind us, gonna help out. Um, with one or the other, I'm not sure which, but we are on our way up, so you guys might get some some good footage of the uh, of the national park for the springtime. Uh, we're still it's about seven o'clock, so we might have enough daylight to get you guys some national park footage. So um, stay tuned. We're on our way to the top. Nate's towing. <laughs> yes. We have arrived. Do you want to stop back there and get your picture made on that last corner? Yes. How the heck are we going to get this thing loaded up? Uh, that's what we were discussing on the way here. You're so wanting... you're going to want the rear of it, unless you're going to dolly it. Uh, probably, probably just scoop it from the rear, right? From the rear. Um. Oh Lord, no, scratch that, Roy. Look guys, here's, here's what we get. So look at these tires. <laughs> can you see, can you see the inside of that tire, YouTube? Dolly tire. Oh my God, like, like, who goes on vacation with their tires looking like that? Oh gosh. That's bad, man. You know, it gives me cold chills. It's 44 degrees up oh, here. Oh, maybe that's what it is. 44, <laughs> it was like, weather. <laughs> it was like, 70 at the bottom and 44 up here at the top. So we're at Klingman's Dome Road. This is the entrance to it. They're doing some work on this road. They've got it closed down for some paving and things like that, but that's a crazy road too. Um, I guess we'll see if we can get the trailer off of it and... Yeah, I wouldn't trust those tires hauling it from the... No. That's not a good idea. Dollies. He said he did what? He pulled the wire off of it? Pulled the white wire off of it. Where's 
that white wire go to? Ah, there it is. So white wire. Yeah, that's the power. So if you can hook that, then this thing will work for us. And then we can hold get it, on it up there. on there, maybe. There's up the ground. I got no power. Hey, wait, maybe I was pushing the wrong button. No, it says up and down. That's it. Is it coming down? Yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, we'll probably have to get a couple of wheel chocks before we get too intent on making this happen. I'll go grab a couple of wheel chocks. It's cold. Mrs. Nate's towing. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, I mean it's it's not going to really go anywhere. We're on, we're pretty much level, but every little bit helps. It's, it'll dig into this block. It won't go nowhere. It'll come bouncing down all of a sudden, didn't it? I'm afraid. There we go. Be very afraid. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So guys, I won't waste too much of the video here. We're kind of limited on battery and footage, but we're gonna get this first one uh, loaded and dollied, and then I'm gonna get the, uh, the trailer loaded. So stick around, we got some loading to do. Okay guys, uh, that's what that looks like. Dollies on the Ford because the front tires are completely shot and we cannot trust that. And we've got the camper on my truck um was able to get it uh dropped up i better shut this off so it doesn't run his battery down there we go comes with a little light but um we are locked and loaded hopefully uh everybody's tires will hold up um if his trailer tires are anything like his truck tires but they seem to have air but we're going to see if we can back out uh and try not to get run over um um, traffic coming up from the North Carolina side is a little crazy, but we're going to back out and head back down the mountain. Stay tuned. We're going to get them dropped off.
went quite smoothly. Not yet, anyway. All right, good job. Guys, that wasn't too bad. Um, we're headed back down to the Tennessee side. Uh, we'll spill out into Gatlinburg. Um, hopefully, this guy's found some place that he wants us to take this combo to. I would assume that they need the camper to stay in, but I didn't quite get that story. A few people up here at the top still hiking, checking out the trails. Really cool place to be. Uh, Tennessee, North Carolina border at the top. Smoky Mountains. And we will catch you guys when we get to the boat. Your service. Hi, uh, this is Dr. Bell calling about a car being towed. Uh, yeah, what you got? I got a black Volkswagen. A black Volkswagen not supposed to be there, huh? Yes. Okay. All righty, we'll send a truck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. Are that you guys have? What kind of car you got? It's a 2015 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, yes, sir. It's uh, parked in uh, Taco Bell parking lot. Yeah, where is it? Where is that uh, Taco Bell? All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Where is that to Taco Bell? Uh, where? I don't know. 15, 20 minutes from uh, Taco Bell. Okay, and how do I go on getting back my car? Um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration of the vehicle, we can release it back to you. Okay, can you say back that address, please? All right, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? You guys are nuts, man. You're up here on the side of a mountain. <laughs> we try to stay out of the way. We're from Wisconsin. We don't got mountains. Like you know, no mountains over there? <laughs> no. Try to stay on the flat lands? Man, it's crazy over here. These We're always getting somebody that's drove down off the end of that stuff, and we're trying to get them back up. I bet. Yeah, Taco Bell's in a worse way right now, man. They're... With their, their dining room is closed and they're like, no parking. If, uh, if you can find one of them spots that are paying five, 10 bucks to park, that way at least you know your car's safe because these, these places will call on you every time. We, we get a lot of folks that like, they'll go and, and buy a putt-putt pass for whatever and they'll go play and then they'll leave their car there all weekend for the, for the event. And they know, they know, they watch those lots. So even doing that, you're better off to pay and then uh, <laughs> that way you know nobody can tow you away because it gets crazy. All right, man. Well, Keep her on the road, man. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel we're over here off of pine mountain road here in pigeon forge got a uh, an rv that's uh she says she's bottomed out trying to get up a steep drive so we're going to see if we can come over here and... in 1000 feet turn know. left onto pine way lift up an rv i guess it's a it's a rainy old day got super cold like yesterday it was upper 60s and Turn left onto Pine Way, then your destination will be like, on the left. Looks like it gets stowed today. Um, here we are. Oh my. Oh my. So it's steep, guys. It's super steep.
Your destination is on the left. Hello. Hi. So, have you made it up there any at all, or are you just now getting I'm here? I'm trying to get out. Okay, so you made it up once. Yes. How in the world did you get up there one time? I have no clue. <laughs> all I can tell you is I already damaged the back of my rig getting out. I okay. used rocks down here to get up, but now I'm afraid of the front. So I don't know what to do. Um. That's all of your piping too, huh? Yeah, I've already damaged that. You can see I used a... Uh, a tie to hold it up. I'm going to hold the bracket off. I already got damaged. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I guess I'll... Probably just get some maneuver. I, th I think if we keep wiggling it and getting the front end down here and keeping it on that incline until we get close and then we can build up some blocks. That's what I thought. Well, we built up here with rocks to get the back end out after I hit. But yeah. now I'm so close to the front, I only got like three inches. So yeah, I know that as soon as the back end goes up, I'm in trouble. It's gonna be a whole mess of, uh, whole mess of wiggling to get it, to get it back over. Let's see if we can do that first, because um, I really can't get behind her to, and then if I lift from the back, it's only gonna make things worse. Right. Um, short of scooting, mm -hmm. I don't really have anything to snatch block off of either to slide it. It's really what it needs. That back end needs to be way, way up there. Right. And I, and I mean, I guess I might be able to get around her, but. Because I mean, we could hold the brake at that point and really winch, winch the back end around hardcore. She's a beast. Yeah. I could probably take her step off. I was wondering if you could pull up just enough to get around her. Because you have a little bit of room up here that way. You Get a few four rear end around. Yeah, it's such a such a steep angle. Top heavy. Yeah, once we start wiggling too, it's gonna be really weird on that. But all we can do is try. I mean, I've got some. Yeah. I don't know if we should try to winch it or should try to block it. Boy, she's gonna be heavy. And I'm gonna be setting up uphill too. Yeah. And it looks like a lot of loose pine. I mean, I could come over here. I could come over here hard, probably set in that slope right there and be and be pretty good right there. It'd keep me pretty level right there if I got up there. Yeah, let's let's do that. At least at least I'm up here at that point if I need, and then we could have you on the other end if we need to pull that in. Okay. All right, dear. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get around you. Um, I'm guessing it'll pull forward just a little bit more. Um, you don't have much to pull forward, do you? No. Looks like it would come just a bit. Are the keys in it? No, I got them right now. 
These driveways are awful. Oh, we we run into this all, we run so into this all the time. Are you even trying to do this? Yeah, I mean, just a little. I mean, you can tell everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the little cars drag, so I know these things will drag. See the brake? It's right on your left. Right there. No, down here. By your leg. That's what okay. I want to show you. Thank you for that. That's that's a really strange place, isn't it? It is. About it? But, well, you gotta run an inch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, a little bit more. No. Well, okay. Go ahead. Close. It's close. Yeah, we'll see if I. I should be able to get around her now.
snatch block up and tied the truck off up there. I'm gonna try to just pivot it around just a little bit so we can keep it off. We got it at a pretty good angle. We're just gonna start off with one block back here. We're just gonna keep chasing it. Keep chasing it. I don't think I'm much of these winchy power unless, unless it's one wheel peel.
you backwards, that way we can go slow and easy. But what we're going to keep building these blocks on this side. Then if I guess, once we get off that front one, if we can, we'll switch it.
living on a hill and having one leg shorter than the other, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Did you pay them? I'm going to pay them now. Okay. So really? Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're most welcome. Okay. What's your name? My name's Nathan. Nathan, what a very pleasure to meet you. My name's Lily. Okay guys, uh, she is gone. Um, they had uh, a wedding. Uh, I guess their son was getting married. They rented this place, they got here, and it was a no-go, so they just turned around and left. They're not even gonna, they're not even gonna stay. Uh, which, I would say even a small car would probably drag there. It's, it's so steep. But I think uh, if you come up here to the top and turned around and kind of hit it at an angle, but still, she said the, uh, the tip her tip meter was uh, alarming her inside. So that's always a little nerving when that uh, alarm goes off, if your vehicle has that option. Guys, we got her out of there. We're gonna scoot back. Oops, see if we can get turned around here. Got all of our mess picked up. I'm still in four low, just to make that happen. out of four low all right guys it is still rod run this is uh friday friday uh friday about noon no it's it's almost two o'clock now guys i lost track of time uh, about two o'clock it's going to be a crazy weekend traffic is as you can see not moving really at all over here in the right lane um so it's probably going to be a little busy. Lots of folks uh, probably parking where they shouldn't be, doing things that they shouldn't be. Um, we've got the local PD uh, setting, trying to keep everybody safe. Thank you guys, Pigeon Forge Police Department. You guys do an amazing job as well. And I'm sure put up with a whole mess of crazy things. Hats off, Pigeon Forge PD. We appreciate you. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, just I, I'm sure this this probably goes all the way into uh, Gatlinburg as far as the traffic. So the spur is definitely not some place you want to try to to venture. Hit some back roads, guys. Hit um, Booker Town Road takes you over to Glades. Birds Creek uh, takes you over to Glades. If you're trying to get in and out. Because all of these rod runners are going to be piled in and we'll get a handful of overheating calls because everybody's just idling and doing that crazy stuff but it is packed guys nevertheless hang tight we've got more videos coming your way for this crazy weekend